Hi everybody, welcome back to Electromechanical Pool. I hope I find you all well, or as well as can be. Uh, sorry I was off for a couple of days. Um, I did intend making a video sort of a couple of more times of what I did, but I wasn't feeling too good. And I'm still not brilliant, but hey, you know, I've got to think of my viewers, haven't I? Yeah. Anyway, um, I managed to get a little switch. A switch came in a post the other day. Uh, let's see that. That's for the, um, oh, what's this vacuum cleaner called now? The Dyson, Dyson DC07. I'm going to put that in. I've got a feeling last time it broke, it might be my fault. I might have been putting it in backwards. Uh, but I watched a couple of YouTube videos and people actually do them and I know how they go in now. But it might have been my fault, it might not, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try and put this in. Um, I've got another video coming up shortly. Hopefully I'll feel well enough to do it. Might be later on. Might be tomorrow. I don't know at the moment, folks. Uh, something you might enjoy. Uh, something like electronic line, if nothing else crops up in between. If it's something that's a funny noise, I've got my fan going up there because it's a bit warm in this room. I'm about to close the back door because you've got people downstairs doing work on, well, I don't know, the banging and drilling and angle grinders going at something. I don't know what it is. Anyway, uh, let's progress on this hoover. I'll just knock off for a minute, reposition my camera, and then we'll try and bung this um, switch in and button the thing up, and it's fin finished. I've been using a vacuum cleaner lately, it works really well. And when I'm hoovering the floor, I can actually feel it sucking itself onto the floor. You know, because sort of, the, the hoover slows down and I think it's where it's vacuums on the floor. So it's got a good strong uh, sucking action, I suppose you could say. No pun intended. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, give me a second, I'll get back to you and we'll bang the switch in, we'll try it out. Okay. Bye for now, see you in a minute. Right, welcome back everybody. Uh, right, here as you know we've got this uh, Dyson DC07 which I did strip down and clean out and rebuild the other day and it's working fantastically. Um, that's proof, I've used it a couple of times in the living room and there's a the proof, yeah. It sucked up big bits of wrapper and dust and cat litter and you name it, yeah. That's working quite well. In fact, working very well. Um, well I've got this uh, new switch I want to install. But first I've got these little boot things to put back on the connectors. So we'll just slide these on. That's one. Well, what a thing with uh, videoing. That's what I mean to say. I had both of them here, and one's disappeared. Oh, well. Just give me a second. I'll step and search it out. Oh, it is. Oh. Righto, folks. Got the other one here. It was on the floor. Right, we'll put this other boot on. that on. Right, now apparently this negative wire, or neutral sorry, should go in here somehow. Somehow it should go in here, so I've been viewing Does it go with that? I can't remember if it goes that way around or this way around. We'll try this way around first. Are you much 
There ain't much flex on here, is there? There ain't much um, room for manoeuvre. Oh, well, let's put that in there. Right, let's put this, try and put this switch on this way around. Right, make sure everything's tucked out the way and I'm not going to get stuck on the screws. That looks good. Right, let's try and put the cover on now and see if it goes on easier than the other day. very tight there's no reason for it to be that tight not like I can see That's just about it. The screw holes are lined up. But well, so far, so good. It's going better than the other day. We'll stick the screw back in. Hopefully I've got the right size Torx driver. I'll get a bit bigger one. So I can't remember what size this was. That's a bit better. I'll right, turn it around because I'm right handed. It's a bit of a long screw. It's not the right screw, but um, it's one I found and I'll make it fit. And there you go. That's on. The, um, the cyclone part, so it's been called. Right, I don't know if it's going to start up straight away or not. Let's put it in the background. That's good. Well, there you go folks another job done it's taken me a couple of days it's had a very good clean and been put back together cost me one part and it's a switch and that's something I might have messed up I'm not 100% sure I don't see how the switch hasn't got no particular way it could go but I put it back the way it had on the uh, video I see and it's gone in straight away before it wouldn't, I think I had to switch going in the wrong way around, but I can't see any problems why it shouldn't. Um, plus I had the neutral wire routed the wrong way around. It could have been that, I don't know. But uh, as you see, it's a very short video, um, and everything's going fine. Um, I have had a couple of requests from um, people to do various videos, um, and I'll get around to them shortly. I did a video the other day when I was out and about, but it was very amateurish and um, it involved like dodging the security guards type of thing. Um, but I'm going to try and do it again in the same type of store 
different place and uh, see how it turns out. Um, that will probably be coming up shortly. Um, so if you're watching, you know who you are, who, who asked about it. Um, something that you've got in America and we've got the same over in the UK but under a different name. Um, okay, well that's it for today. Very short video. I had to put the switch in, try it out and I showed you anyway, it's working absolutely fine. Anyway, I say goodbye for now. Um, if you like what you see, uh, please subscribe. There will be a bit of everything coming up now. You see me driving about, doing various bits and pieces, perhaps doing a bit of shopping even, yeah, as I did the other day. Uh, a bit of electronics, a bit of electrical appliance come up. And what I can't find to do, I'll order something off of eBay probably and try and repair it, like I did do the inverter and a few other bits and pieces I've bought. But uh, yeah, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Please give me a like, because um, it sort of gives me a bit more ambition, put it like that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all again later. And uh, yeah, don't forget to comment if you have one. Thank you. Bye bye.